So after I've made the copy of my window, I may want to change the color of it. This is where you can start to think about maybe some modifications that you might want to make to these windows before you use them in your model. I can change the color of this by clicking the materials box here. And when I click this, the default is to show me all the colors that are in the model already. These colors here are because of the figure of the model. If I want to look for new colors or other types of materials, I can click here. Now for my windows, I'm really only going to be focusing on colors. I'm going to be saving the brick cladding and siding and other things and maybe the textile stuff for later when I'm actually putting furniture and putting color into my SketchUp model. But for right now, I'm just interested in window color. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to pick a color that I think would look good. I kind of am imagining this house being a little bit modern, so I'm going to pick a darker color. When I select it, I get a paint bucket tool. And because this is grouped, all I have to do is click it in order for the color to change on the whole thing. If I were in edit mode, I could do just the fronts one color and the backs another color if I wanted. When I'm done with this window, I can just close it by Xing out of it. Here is my window. I have five of these particular windows. I'm gonna make five copies and I'm gonna place them into my model. I want to just show you how you can modify the sizes of objects in very specific ways. You'll see here that these windows already have measurements on them. If an object doesn't have measurements on it, you can always use the dimensions tool, which is underneath um, tape measure tool right here, in order to put dimensions from one the top to bottom so that you can actually see when you make the adjustments what the size is going to be. So let's say I wanted to make a three foot window, let's say. I'm gonna select this. I'm going to use the move tool and I'm gonna make a copy of it holding the option key and just dragging away. Next, I'm going to add some dimensions onto this so that I can tell what the actual dimensions are really easily. So I'm gonna put one across the top and I'm gonna put one across the bottom. Again, I'm, I'm clicking from endpoint to endpoint so that I can see it very specifically. I wanna make this three foot or maybe two foot, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use the scale tool, which is underneath the move tool. It's the third tool over and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna mouse over this and click. What you will see is that there is a bounding box that shows up. Be very careful when you grab these handles because you can move things in all different directions. And so you wanna be very specific when you're making something bigger. You may only wanna make it taller in the vertical direction or you might only wanna make it wider in the horizontal direction. If that's the case, grab the middle handles and I'm going to pull this down until that number gets to two. And then I know I have a two foot by three foot window. Or if I'm not really happy with that, maybe I want it to be three feet by three feet, a square. I'm just going to grab that middle handle again and I'm going to pull up and it will snap to three feet. And you can see it very clearly because of the dimension lines. Once you're done with the scale, you can click the selection tool and, um, and then you can either leave this here so that you could make copies of it or delete the dimension lines. I'm just gonna make a copy of it here. Again, I'm selecting the corner, holding the option key, control key on a Chromebook and I believe also on a PC to make a copy. And that's how you can modify some of these pre-existing windows and doors.